everyone in this video we are going to talk about the commercial unit of energy that indicates that the unit of energy which is commercially in use we are going to talk about that unit of energy in this particular video now before going to the topic i would like to show you a picture which has a very familiar thing which is familiar to almost all of us we have seen it at least once in a life that is this picture now most of you must tell me that what is this picture of now this picture is nothing but of a domestic electricity meter isn't it now this is fitted to every household now what it does it actually shows at the end of the month that how much electrical energy is being consumed in that particular household in where it is fitted so it looks something like this this is the number which indicates the amount of electrical energy consumed in that particular household where it is kept and you can clearly see that the unit at uh, by which this number is being represented is not the unit of energy which we have studied before we have studied that the si unit of energy is joules isn't it but here we see that the energy electrical energy consumed in a household is written in some other unit in terms of another unit which is here that is kwh now this is the unit of energy that we will be studying about in this video now this is the unit of energy which is used commercially in homes shops and industries to measure the amount of electrical energy they consume and this is what we call as kilowatt hours so the commercial unit of energy is kilowatt hour now we gen we generally get the electricity bill and there it is written as number of units of energy that we have consumed now what does this one unit indicate now that exactly indicates 1 kilowatt hour of energy so one unit of electricity equals 1 kilowatt hour of energy now we know that the si unit of energy is joules isn't it but why do we need another separate unit for commercial use or commercial purpose now we are going to discuss about the reason in this slide over here why do we need another unit now 1 joule of energy is a very small amount of energy that is a joule of joule is the amount of electrical energy consumed when an appliance of 1 watt power is used for only 1 second first of all we do not generally have electrical appliances with 1 watt power and we uh, for if it is used for 1 second that gives us the energy consumed which is 1 joules so you can imagine how small is the is the amount of energy that is indicated by 1 joule isn't it so that's the reason why we generally need a bigger unit or a larger unit because we generally use electrical appliances in terms of half an hour or 1 hour and those electrical appliances are uh, of the range of power such as 1000 watt 1000 uh, watts or 500 watts or even more than that so we thus require a larger unit of energy which we can use commercially because we generally use those appliances for hours and that will turn out to be lakhs and lakhs of joules and that's the reason why we have found out another unit of energy for commercial purposes that is kilowatt hour now let us see what an what a kilowatt hour actually indicates how much of energy it does it indicate now joule represent very small quantity of energy therefore it is inconvenient to use for commercial purposes so the commercial unit of energy that we came up was kilowatt hour now uh, on the other hand 1 kilowatt hour is the amount of electrical energy consumed when an electrical appliance having a power of 1000 watt or 1 kilowatt is used for 1 hour now that sounds quite feasible isn't it so that that is why that is the reason why we use this particular unit that is 1 kilowatt hour or kilowatt hour 
instead of jewels for commercial purposes in case of homes, shops or industries or any other bigger companies. Now, so this was all about one kilowatt hour. Now let us look at the conversion that is the relationship between kilowatt hour and joules. Now we know that one kilowatt equals thousand watts. So one kilowatt hour will be equal to thousand watts used for one hour or in electrical appliances appliance of 1000 watt when it is used for one hour we say that the power consumed or the electrical energy consumed is one kilowatt hour isn't it so we know that one hour equals 3600 seconds isn't it 3600 seconds so on using that we have one kilowatt hour equals 1000 watts multiplied by 3600 seconds now with this we get 1 kilowatt hour equals 3600000 watt seconds. So this is the relation between kilowatt hour and watt seconds. So in a short form, we can write it as 1 kilowatt hour equals 3.6 into 10 power 6 watt seconds. Now, 1 watt will be equal to 1 joules per second, isn't it? 1 joule divided by 1 second since power equals work done by time taken. This is the unit of power, this is the unit of work done and this is the unit of time. So 1 watt will be equal to 1 joule divided by 1 second. So 1 joule will be equal to 1 watt second which indicates that joule can, be re can replace watt second over here in this expression because joule is equal to watt second. So on replacing that we get 1 kilowatt hour equals 3.6 into 10 power 6 joules. So this is the relation between kilowatt hour and joules. So you can see how large is this unit of energy consumed. This uh, one unit of this equals such a large uh, quantity of energy consumed in terms of joules. So it is more feasible to use this unit of energy instead of this. Now this relationship is quite important uh, when you want to solve the numerical problems. Sometimes the problems are given in terms of uh, the energy consumed is given in terms of kilowatt hour and you may need to convert it to joules or it's given in terms of joules or you may need to convert it into kilowatt hour so this relationship should be borne in mind while solving the numerical problems so that is all about the commercial unit of energy and its conversion to joules and i hope this video was helpful to you thanks for watching tutorialspoint.com simply easy learning